The origins of life and the universe have fascinated humankind for centuries. Philosophers, scientists, and theologians alike have pondered this ultimate question, how and when did life begin? While science offers empirical evidence, many still find solace in faith. The debate over God's existence and the origins of the universe remains one of the most compelling discussions of all time. This is where William Maley's comes in. Renowned physicist Stephen Hawking firmly rejected the notion of a divine creator. He once stated, Before we understood science, it was natural to believe that God created the universe, but now, science offers a more convincing explanation. Hawking's assertion was based on the idea that scientific discoveries could fully explain the universe without the need for a supernatural being. However, his perspective was not universally accepted, and many people worldwide continue to believe in God. While many may shy away from challenging such a legendary figure in physics, one extraordinary boy is boldly stepping forward. Meet William Maley's, an 11-year-old prodigy who claims that Stephen Hawking's beliefs about God and the universe are incorrect. Not only is he confident in his stance, but he is also determined to prove his hypothesis through scientific reasoning. William Maley's is far from an average child. At just nine years old, he graduated from high school, an achievement that most reach nearly a decade later. His intellectual prowess was recognized by Joanne Ruthsatz, an Ohio State University psychologist, who confirmed his status as a genius. Even at the age of five, Maley's displayed exceptional cognitive abilities, such as completing an entire 209-page geometry textbook in a single night. Maley's presents a compelling argument regarding the age of the universe. He states that the universe has an age of 13.8 billion years, but if gravity is always working, the singularity should have no age, it should be infinitely old. Since the universe does have an age, Maley's argues that something external must have created the singularity, and he identifies this external force as God. 